I think uh, regardless of 2020 cricket, uh, the World Cup is our flagship event. Um, we've coined the phrase that this is the cup that counts, so it's an important event for us. Uh, it is certainly the uh, flagship of 50 over cricket. Uh, with the backdrop that you point around 2020 cricket, it just gives it that more importance uh, in that we want to ensure that all three formats survive. Uh, and I think the flagship event uh, has to be successful to support that notion. We, we continuously look for ways and means to enhance uh, all of our events. And it is true to say that the previous events uh, were, were, were longer than uh, what was perhaps comfortable. Uh, we've done our utmost and we've shed some days of this particular event. Uh, but with 14 teams uh, and the format that we've got, uh, this is the, the, the most compact way in which we can uh, produce this event. That's correct. In the case of the quarterfinals and the semi-final, uh, the host will play at home. Uh, in the event of uh, two hosts appearing in that fixture, the one that is higher ranked uh, will play at home. We're satisfied now that all of our venues have been completed um, and all the fixtures as have been published, uh, including the one that was shifted on the 27th of February to Bangalore, uh, is now final. We must all uh, accept that no matter what sphere of life we deal with, uh, it changes. Um, when players, the greats like Imran and Clive Lloyd played many, many years ago, there was no format such as 2020. Nor was the, the kind of commercial um, returns that we see in the game today. So we shouldn't begrudge players of today who are earning what they, they should be earning. Uh, and we, shouldn't, we should be enheartened by the likes of uh, the commercial values that we've got to the game. Cricket has grown beyond what it was 20 years before. We've um, felt in the past few years that 2020 is the format best uh, disposed to spread the game, uh, to develop the game. It provides a better environment for competition, uh, that particular format, and hence why 2020, we believe, uh, is the format to use to develop and spread the game. That's the reason why we've expanded that competition to 16 teams. Uh, 50 over cricket, we think, uh, is a little bit uh, more skill-based uh, in the sense that over 50 overs you can uh, compete uh, more strongly, and hence why we believe that 10 teams in the 50 over event will be more suitable. Whenever the chief executives committee gets together, we talk about the volume of cricket. Uh, we're very mindful of it. Uh, the fact of the matter is that between the ICC and the respective member boards, um, as well as the players themselves, we have to manage the volume of the game. Uh, no one uh, will be responsible on their own. It's a collective uh, responsibility because all of us together contribute to the volume of the game. Um, we've dealt with that. We felt uh, quite strongly about wanting to close that matter before the World Cup. Uh, we pushed hard. Uh, you well know how difficult it is to get the process completed uh, within the time frame that we did. Uh, and I'm quite satisfied that having concluded that matter, it's something behind us. What we have done is certainly adopted that zero-tolerant approach. Uh, we've been decisive in the manner that we've dealt with anything that we've uh, seen or heard around uh, corruption, and we will continue to do so. Uh, specifics we do not discuss in terms of ACSU. Uh, we have increased our capacity, and we will continue to review the expertise that we've got to deal with, uh, with this menace. Mr. Loggett, what, are the, what steps have you taken following the spot fixing scandal to stop such things? Well, we have a process in place to do um, an internal review as well as an independent review uh, of the whole matter around corruption. Uh, there's plenty of learnings that we will pick up from the past experience, uh, and we will look to enhance whatever process, whatever protocol, uh, including the code itself, uh, we will look to enhance.